guys it's uh, December 11th and uh, today I can't really show you that well you can't really see what it is anyway this is something I'm working on that's gonna be on my art channel not sure what dates gonna be but you can't even really realize or see what it is from here anyway so oh well. so I'm working on that um, I am watching some videos catching up on vlogs and I'm cleaning and rearranging my little Get out of the way. Um, cleaning up my little um, Alice in Wonderland shrine thing that I got going on here. Um, I've got some new, I think these are dorbs. And I got, well, I had all of these before anyway. So I'm just making room for some more little things if I get them. And um, put my Tsum Tsums down there. I don't have the Alice Tsum Tsum. Um, and there was. Another one, a mouse or something that comes with it. So I'm just reorganizing this, making it cleaner, and trying to come on, focus. It's not that dark in here. Um, I'm going to put this in a protective uh, plastic. If not, then it's just it's going to get wrecked because I don't have a, a frame to put it in because it's a weird shaped um, picture. And then I'm putting my Jasmine Beckett Griffith stuff over here, and I don't know what else I'm going to put here. I might go back to the dollar store when I get some money um, and maybe get a few things to go on top of here um, but I'm just changing a few things around and uh, yeah her door is a mess over there I hate looking at that um, but yeah that's that's pretty much what I'm doing just cleaning the shelves because they're all dusty and Jeremy needs to get his stuff all cleaned up too it's his I'm not touching it because he has things put in a certain order I want to show you something I don't know if you can see it you probably can look at this it goes to show how much he dusts things. So that's what I'm doing today. He can work on his on his day off. I'm going to get back at this. And I'm going to record a video for Friday maybe. Or it could be a bonus video. I don't know. But this is my little uh, turtle that I did. His name is Herbert. Um, this one is sold actually. I had to paint it and give it to someone on Thursday. Um, so I have it half done. So I'm going to record this today I think. So I'm going to set up my camera and everything as well. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this thing. Every video that I record comes out a little bit grainy and it shouldn't um, if it's a DSLR and I don't think I'm putting it on the right setting when I'm recording so I might fool around with that just slightly to see what quality video I can get with the different settings um, but yeah I noticed that my videos are still grainy all the time and I don't really like that because it shouldn't be happening but um, I was playing around with my prism color markers the other day for something to do and I might clean this thing out eventually as well. This is garbage. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what I'm up to. So I'm going to go finish cleaning up my mess. So I ended up getting a call this afternoon to go into one of the schools here for work. And um, about quarter after two, classes got cancelled because of plumbing issues. So. I had to stay behind and help make sure all the kids got picked up and um, got out of the building safely because they had to shut the water off. So right now I have another uh, 15 minutes if not uh, 20 or more to wait for Selena to get out of school because she doesn't go to the one that I'm at. So um, it's still about minus 40 outside so I'm just waiting for the Jeep to warm up just a little bit um, because I couldn't plug it in anywhere here. I didn't even bring an extension cord with me. Um, so that's what's happening. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get home. I might work on some art stuff. It's, um, I, I don't even know if I'm going to get a call tomorrow as usual. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but overall it wasn't too bad of an afternoon. Um, could have been worse. And, um, the last hour, I think if I had a Fitbit on today, I probably just walked at least a good 3,000 steps. Um, just getting around the classrooms and everything this past, uh, this past hour. Um, so I am going to shove off again and um, go and park outside of Selena's school and wait for her. It's a good thing I brought my sketchbook and I brought a book with me as well because sometimes you don't know what's going on in the classroom. Um, if the students are writing a test or something like that, you can sit quietly at the teacher's desk and you can do something on your own um, provided you still keep an eye on the students, of course, and make sure they're doing what they're doing. Um, not every day is like that. Sometimes you have to get up and interact with the students and everything. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm cold. I'm cold. So I'm going to shove off and uh, go and uh, park. We're going to park and maybe get a couple chapters in a book. That's, that's I think that's what I'm going to do. 
Hey guys, it's um, about 8.30 and it's December 13th and I just wanted to show you something. Look at this. This is frost on the inside of our window. Um, doesn't usually happen, not in this room, it happens on the on the door out in the front. Um, woke up this morning and it's minus 50 outside. Um, I haven't felt minus 50. Last year, I don't think we got to minus 50. It might have been a day or two, but we didn't go outside. Um, but I actually had to go outside in this this morning to take Selena to school. And uh, they won't be sending the kids outside for recess or at lunch today. Usually anything below minus 30, they're not allowed to send them out. Um, it was that, or you are allowed to use your own discretion and keep them home, but Jeremy wants her to go to school. So I'm taking her out. So it's a good thing we got the Jeep and everything plugged in. Because that would have been a fine mess. I don't have work so far today. I didn't get a phone call yet. Um, usually if I have to go in in the morning, um, the receptionist calls by 8. Well, I have an update. We didn't even make it out of the driveway. Um, I went out to start the Jeep and it just would not go. Um, what's going on here? Where's my stuff? can't find my slippers. Um... I went out and I started the Jeep at 20 after 8 or so I thought I did. Um, I even listened and the horn, you know, did the burping thing. Honking. People don't understand what burping means. Um, it honked out. Yeah. And uh, I thought I heard the Jeep start so I just left it alone. But clearly when I got in the seats were frozen. The gas pedal or the brake pedal wouldn't even move it was like froze solid and uh, Jeremy had the Jeep plugged into the garage which he said should have worked because he was using the hair dryer the other night to unfreeze um, my um, my car warmer the 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 heating block oh, I don't know what it's called um, and he said that it should have been fine to heat the Jeep up to keep it warm from stopping what just happened um, so yeah, we know, I didn't want to move the steering wheel or anything in case it broke some of the cords because it could have been frozen. But um, having the vehicle plugged in should have prevented that from happening. And I guess it, it didn't. So um, Selena's home for the morning, possibly for the rest of the day, um, depending on what happens. i got hair all over the place here. So yeah, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I've called the school and let them know that she's not going to be in this morning. And about 12 o'clock or so, I'll go out and see if I can start it again. Um, if she wants to go to school this afternoon for two hours, then I guess I can take her. Um, but quite frankly, uh, if it's minus 50, I don't even want to leave the house because it's hard for me to breathe. But um, like I said, we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that, that's my update. Went outside for nothing. So I ended up uh, taking Selena to the school after um, about lunchtime, and um, the the power steering notification that I had on the vehicle earlier this morning was gone. So I think the lines were frozen or something. I have no idea. The gas pedal or the brake pad, and everything unfroze itself, and I don't know if there's something wrong with the extension cord that's running from the vehicle to the garage. But Jeremy said he's gonna um, go to Canadian Tire. Uh, to pick up a new extension cord on the way home from work um, but I'm thinking that maybe I should just leave and go out about maybe four o'clock to pick one up so he doesn't have to do it because uh, he's gonna be tired when he gets home so there's really no need of him going to Canadian Tire um, picking up another extension cord but um, <clears throat> I think it will be okay if I just keep plugged into the side of the house rather than the garage and if I have to go to the school for work, I'll have the you know car running or the Jeep running in the morning. And it's only going to be shut off for three hours, and then I'll be able to start it up again. So three hours shouldn't make that much of a difference. Um, but the Jeep was parked um, you know, all last night, so of course it was going to get frozen. But I don't know. Um, <laughs> it was a little bit frustrating. I am so tired again today. I don't know what's wrong. I've been taking some medication at night to help me sleep. Um, so that I am able to get up and get ready for work. I did get up at quarter after 7, I think it was, this morning. Uh, no, it was 7.30, and I jumped in the shower and everything, expecting to get a call for work, and I didn't get one. Um, but at least I got showered and everything for the day, I guess. 
Uh, so with that being said, um, when I couldn't get Selena to the school this morning, I let her watch um, a couple shows on Netflix um, after she had all of her chores and everything done so I can go and lay down for an hour or so. And I did fall asleep for maybe about 45 minutes, I think that was all. And um, I'm just as tired as I was when I woke up this morning or when I went to bed last night. And it just seems like I can't get enough sleep. I need like a good 14 hour straight sleep. No interruptions, no waking up. Just I'm like, just knock me out for 14 hours and maybe I might feel a little bit better. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you can tell from my eyes. Like, I'm, I'm so poofy and my sinus is hurt. I know I sound like such a complaining crybaby right now, but I'm just in so much pain. And I busted my, this knuckle, I busted this knuckle open. I busted this finger open yesterday. Um, trying to, one was from, I don't know what one was from, but the other one, my knuckle was from trying to change the batteries in the security system lock for the door, and that happened this morning, so everything has not been a good day, not been a good day. Um, I'm honestly not expecting any work for the rest of the week, um, but Jeremy has two more days left, and I have myself made available for Monday and Tuesday of next week, but I think I'm just going to say scrap it and just spend some time with Jeremy because we're financially set and everything for Christmas and for a bit of time after Christmas so I think I'll be, we'll, we'll be okay. Um, like I said I haven't really seen him a whole lot so I think that's what I'm going to do. And he's okay with it too so it's not like I'm making the decision, the decision on my own. So with that being said I'm going to go and get um, another vlog ready to get put up because I'm behind on vlogs. And um, I know for a fact that when Jeremy goes back to work after Christmas, I still have almost two weeks after the fact, I think. Because the kids go back on the 9th. He goes back to work on the 28th, I think. I'm just going to crank out videos left and right for my art channel so I'm prepared for after Christmas. And I'm hoping to get some like new and better things for next year. And I just started a Patreon. Well, I had a Patreon going for a while, but I decided to not go with it because nobody really seemed interested. And I made it back when I had like 20, 30 subscribers on YouTube. But I have like over 700 now and things are growing. So maybe the Patreon thing might pick up. I don't know. Um, it would be cool if it did. Not just for the fact that it's bringing in income for me, but I can interact with my um, viewers and my followers a little bit more. So that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I did that. So yeah, I'm going to go do the vlog and um, i got to try to get warm. I'm sitting here and my feet are frozen. And we still have ice on the inside of the window. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I gotta, guess i got to figure it out. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so horrible. I just found out that I had um, on Facebook, I'm a part of a, fa a family friendly vlogger um, group on Facebook. And apparently I had the owner of the group blocked and I had no clue and now I feel so horrible. Um, I would have gotten banned from the group if uh, one of the other ladies there didn't come and tell me that I had it done and I feel so bad because I don't even know. Um, well, this other lady had mentioned me and she's like, well, do you know this name? And I'm like, well, no, I've never seen the name before. And she's like, well, you didn't just see the comment that she made on your, on your you know, the reply to a, a, on the post someone on the group and I'm like no only the the name is like honestly not familiar to me I have no idea who it is so I went and tried to search the name couldn't find it I searched the name of the group couldn't find it I searched the admins in the group I couldn't find the name I'm like well that's pretty weird so she suggested I go and check my blocked um people on the on Facebook and her name was there um I don't know what happened um, and I feel so horrible because I don't do things like that. Um, I wouldn't appreciate if someone did that to me. I have no idea. Facebook is just a... Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. It, it's so stupid. Like, I don't even... I have... There's three people that I have blocked. One that was sending me weird messages that I just didn't want to deal with. Another person, I think, that had almost a nude picture for profile picture. I blocked that person. And then there was this lady's name there from the group. And I've been in this group for months now. And no clue that I had this, this lady blocked in. Like I said, I feel so bad. And now that I've unblocked her, I see a whole ton more of stuff. Um, in the group that I've never seen before so I don't know if it happened right when I first had tried to um, 
join the group or if you know the button clicked over something that it wasn't supposed to and she got blocked by accident but anyway it's all resolved now and I sent a message and I apologize that it was I didn't do it on purpose um, so hopefully something like that doesn't happen again um, I didn't even know how to get in to check to see who was blocked to be honest with you I know how to block people but I don't know how to get in and check to see who was blocked so um, this other person told me how to go in there so I was really appreciative of that but for anyone watching, if you're on a group like that, go in and check to make sure that everything is okay and you're not doing something you're not supposed to and you don't know you're doing it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to go for Selena in about an hour. And she has a choir practice after school today because her Christmas concert is Tuesday of next week. So I'll get some film of that as well. Um, everybody films Christmas concerts. Um, so I can put a little bit of that up here when she goes up on stage to do her thing. Uh, I think she's doing three songs. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, I have to go and get something done. I just turned on Bailey's, um, Bailey's Twitch stream. And she's apparently getting ready to do like a three marker challenge or something, which I haven't even done that yet. Maybe I should do it for my channel. Anyway, I'm going to shove off again. I just wanted to add that in because if this person decides to watch my video, I honestly did not know I did it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work on some line art because I have been just messing around doing nothing. And uh, yeah, I should do that. So I just wanted to come back in and... Um, close off the vlog here today. I'm already up to like 17 minutes. So it's just going to be a quick, um, quick, what is all over me? Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I have an appointment or not really an appointment. I have a, like a walk-in thing tomorrow to get my tires filled at the, uh, place where I bought the Jeep. So I'm going to be doing that at some point in time tomorrow. I went there today and, uh, they told me to come and get it done. Then when I got there, apparently the machine cracked out. So I had to go back again and I didn't get home till 5 o'clock, so this past hour I've been getting up the vlog from today because I am going to do my damnedest to be able to keep up with this and provide more interesting things on my channel. Um, not just for my art channel, but for my vlog channel as well. Um, but I just want to get this vlog done for today so I can just start fresh tomorrow. And I just wanted to come back and say thanks for watching. And um, I hope everyone's having a great week. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, provided nothing bad happens. Tomorrow can't get any worse than what today did, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Alright, guys, I'll see you in the next video.